All right, so um, yeah, so the the reason why I stopped the last video is because I find I realized that I was the only one in court, <laughs> so it was other people in court. Um, and so basically, let me just tell you what happened. Um, they put me on. So the judge, my federal judge, there was a magistrate judge, and her name was. Uh, hold on. And I can't pronounce it. Judge Corral, C U R R A U L T, and she wanted me detained. She did not want me out. She said that my um, criminal record was four pages long, which is true. I put my have a lengthy and horrible criminal record. I've always been arrested for stuff like this. Um, so, um, yeah, is um. They, but they didn't detain me. They, um, they elected to, they elected to, um, put me on a $5,000 unsecured appearance bond. Um, I will be supervised by a U.S. probation officer beginning tomorrow. Uh, I'm travel restricted, so I can't leave the Eastern District of Louisiana without permission. I, of course, can't go out of the country or anything. Um, I have to obtain some legitimate employment. My social media stuff is not considered employment to them. Um, I can't apply for loans without prior approval from U.S. probation. Um, I must make payments toward my federal restitution, of course. Um, and I must abstain from any social media posting that any way threatens directly or indirectly a person or their character. Now, this was something weird that they put in, and I don't even understand what it is, but basically what happened was... When I was on probation before, so they had the, the when I was on uh, supervised release following my first prison stint with the federal government, um, they put me on like a probation, like on supervised release, basically. And so while I was on that, um, they used to get calls from Supercent, Judy, all these people about what I was saying about them on social media. Now, while that infringed on my, like my parole officer couldn't really do nothing because it infringed on my First Amendment rights if he said whatever. He did tell me to tone it down because he didn't like receiving the calls. Although he didn't have much problem with me, this was the thing. And since this was in my report and they had to ask him, um, they put that in the stipulations. Now, I tried to argue that a little myself. My lawyer didn't argue that much, uh, but it was the thing that was put in. Um, and of course, I have to report all contact with law enforcement to U.S. probation as soon as possible. So, um, honestly, though, let me just tell you right now what I'm feeling right now. What I am feeling right now is basically I'm nervous. I, I think I'm nervous. This is my first time in the court setting or having to deal with it like that and realizing how the federal government plays and what they do. And they convict you not on whatever is happening, not on the merits of what's going on right now or the merits of what's going on with the situation, but they look at your record. And my record is just not good. So right now is my first realization and hint that they will this record will be something. And because of my record, they will probably, I think, just I have to gear myself up for probably doing some jail time. It's just what it is. Um, also, if you're seeing this right now, that means I'm probably, not probably, because I won't post this unless I go to jail. This will be, I will post all of these videos uh, the day my prison system starts. I will wake up in the morning and unlist them all. So I'm actually posting them to YouTube. I'm just keeping them unlisted. Uh, so you can't, you can't see them, you can't find them, but you'll see them then. Um, that's what it is. So, uh, right now, uh, I just got out the shower. I want to go take a shower. I'm kind of in a little funky, funky mood. Um, I have some other stuff going on on social media right now. Um, and I'm trying to mitigate how to move forward and actually wrap my mind around that, um, component. So if you're watching this and you're seeing this, then I'm in jail. And I will put where I am in the description so y'all can check that out. And if you want to mail me, I do like letters. Um, I'm going to keep my head up. Um, uh, I, as I said in prior videos, this little series will be uh, just me getting ready for what is going to happen. But today is January 24th and this was my <sighs> first, um, first, my first court date. And, uh. Uh, I plan not guilty, and um, we're going to see what the government is. I was uh, issued two other court dates, uh, 
which was one of us March 22nd, which will be uh, kind of like a status conference to see where we are and uh, a tentative trial date of April. And we'll see what it is. But as of now, I'm not detained. Um, they decided to just have me on deck. Um, I did waive indictment. 99% um, rate of indictment in the Eastern District of Louisiana, meaning that if the feds bring charges against you, they generally get indictments. Uh, I just kind of saved them some money for hopefully some leeway when it comes down to it. Um, and that's where I am right now. So um, we'll talk about that. I did talk uh, both to my attorney. Um, like I said, these videos aren't being released until after the fact. Um, so right now I'm thinking I'm up to like the fourth video. Um, I might go back and do the first two over right now, actually. I think I want to go do them over to kind of explain what's going on and what these videos are and what they mean and if you're watching them. So um, if you're watching them, this is just kind of like me um, preparing for what may happen. So today is the January 24th, um, and I just went through my pre, my first, uh, my arraignment, basically. And I, I pled not guilty at detention hearing, which is also held which they decided not to detain me, but to give me stipulations on travel and uh, and that. So that's what this is. Like, share, subscribe. And if you're watching this, that means I'm in prison. So you can write me at the address below. Love you. Thank you.